If you've never had friends, you've never lived life. We are Dee and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Enjoying Lake Norman has always been something we love to do, and sharing it with Jesse and Harley was fun during the summer of 2020 on their visits to North Carolina. The lake had more boats on it than we have remembered in years. I guess with little to do, people were taking to the water for some fun. July 4th is always fun at the lake. Our good friends Eddie and Joan were host once again, and Dee was able to get some great drone footage of their home on the lake and all our friends in their boats. Summers on Lake Norman are full of cookouts, good friends, and beautiful sunsets. The lake was full the summer of 2020. I guess COVID was keeping everyone from traveling and doing other things, so they took to the water. Dee and I enjoyed watching all the festivities on the water and we're certainly glad we had our old girl. Sometimes the best days on the lake in our Tritune are the ones where you find an anchorage, where you're alone, the winds are light, and you can practice flying the drone. This seemed like the perfect opportunity to practice and enjoy the day. What we did not prepare for was the osprey nest nearby. And I would guess there were young in the nest because mom and dad were unhappy about the drone in the air. You will see the osprey as he takes a close pass on the drone and then look for his shadow on the water as Dee lowers the drone toward the boat when the osprey once again shows he is boss here. Finally, the Osprey left us alone enough to get some footage of D&I on board.
One thing we did plan for was giving our tritune a new floor. We can't say enough about how much we love this new floor. We almost feel like we got a new boat getting rid of that old ugly carpet for this easy to care for vinyl seagrass look. But our favorite thing to do on Lake Norman is hanging out with friends on a Friday night and watching the sun go down the best of times. North Carolina wineries were also allowed to open with some precautions and we took full advantage of visiting some of the wineries close to our motorhome. But it's always more fun with friends. Next up, we go scalloping for the first time. We arrive in Cape Sandblast August 2020 to scallop. We joined our Pensacola friends. Chris and Michelle had scalloped before, so they were our instructors. But first up, we explore the beach as the sun went down on our first night together. We always have fun on that first night, catching up and toasting our friendship. First day out, we head out to a location that we were told about, but didn't have much luck. We met some people coming back who told us about another location, so we pulled anchor and headed over. We all enjoyed being in the water, so fun is always to be had. We found more in this area, but we still didn't feel like we had found our spot but we did score a pretty good amount. Our big mistake was going back to the house to clean scallops. It was hot and messy, but we endured until they were all clean. And I see another one, right? Oh yeah. Like, oh, good. The next day we explored the area we were close to the day before and we finally found some and score. We found a beautiful spot with plenty of scallops. We had a great time finding scallops and made the better decision to clean the scallops while on the water, which was more fun and much cleaner. But the absolute best part of scalloping is eating them. The evenings were special times with friends and the beach walks at sunset were always one of our favorite things to do. I love sunsets. The day just seems perfect when you get to watch the sun melt into the water. Fall is here and we are planning our trip back to put Journey in the water. November 1 had been our goal, but Etta, the tropical storm, changed that. So we spent November enjoying some last times together in North Carolina, beginning with some good music. The annual Dove House event was virtual this year and we had some fall time with friends. Also, an early Christmas for our okay. great Keep nephew going. Carson, who has fallen in love with horses. Look. Not sure he knew what to do with this one at first. Look. Go on this side. We got more. Here, let me have it. Whoa. Let me have this. He says, I know that mommy doesn't like them. Take it. Okay. What does he say? What does he say? Carson, can you say nay? Hold on, come here. Carson, can you say nay? Listen. Ride him! You brought everything else. We finished up November with Thanksgiving with our daughters and homemade apple pie from Jesse, which ended our time in North Carolina. We are headed to Florida, but our first stop was to become officially Florida residents. Day three is complete. The paint job is done. It took three days. We decided to paint Journey's bottom ourselves and save the money mm -hmm. since the islands are basically closed due to COVID. We learned a lot and maybe we might have to pay for this next time.